Hello everybody, welcome back to Slay the Spire. We are ascending today with the Silent, level 10. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to kind of lean into whatever synergies they present to us first. A random rare card, or a random rare relic for 99 gold. Give me the card. What do we get? Doppelganger. Well... Probably not going to do very much for us, but it's something. Let's go right up the center here. Right, we are taking 14 in damage. This has 18 HP after the shield, so we might as well hit them three times. It's equivalent of playing a defend as well, because they're not hitting us for seven anymore. Doppelganger, next turn, draw X cards and gain X energy. So it just kind of passes on the energy from one turn into the next turn. Could be useful. Kind of a very open interpretation for what synergy we might work towards. Shivs. Shivs might be the order of the day. Do I need to heal? Now we will get rid of a basic strike because we have those shivs. We're going to a shop. We could be going to a shop. Do I want another relic? At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Now, I'll take the max HP for now. Remove another card from our deck. Probably a basic defend this time. Tiny, tiny little enemies. Six... 12 and a shiv and a shiv and a shiv well this is the kind of turn that you want doppelganger and we don't have it hopefully we can upgrade it and then eventually we'll be able to use it effectively even when we have zero energy so, some good choices here. At the start of your turn, add a shiv into your hand. Four damage every turn. Choke. Deal 12 damage. Whenever you play a card this turn, the enemy loses three HP. So, if you play three shivs, you make them lose three more HP. I think infinite blades is the easier way to go. And what we can do here is we can go infinite blades. Doppelganger for two. End our turn. So this turn, we get a shiv, we get five energy, and they're still sleeping, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's not a bad opening turn. Neutralize, turn to 15. More shiving and the higher defensive two cards. 20 damage. I'll play my defenses first. Eventually, they will take a turn off, as they are doing. So you can see where Choke would be a really good card to have here. Make them weak again. That's the equivalent of playing a defend. 15 damage. And get to exactly 15 defense. We can get to 15 defense again. And Blade Dance keeps us in attacks. Whenever you rest, you may add a random or may add a card into your deck. Not a random card, just a card. Gain six blocks and a shiv. Don't mind if I do. Right, if we're going to go to this shop, we could go to that shop and take the extra fireplace. Let's do that. So we'll smith. This is innate, always comes to our hand. This gets plus one, so it's always worth playing if there's nothing else going on. Two shivs on that. I think making this plus one means that we'll always have cause to play it. 
infinite blades and two defense to start. Then here. I'm going to play Doppelganger rather than Cloak and Dagger. Play all of that. What I would love to see is a Shuriken or something. I think that would do us very well. 12 defense. Well, that's 14. Our energy can't carry over. We don't have ice cream as much as I would love it. But things are going well. Do love Bouncing Flask. Are we going to not take it in order to focus on the Shiv stuff? Yes, I will take Flying Knee. Next damage gain energy. Tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. And then Smithing here. 11 damage, extra shiv. Let's make this innate so it's always there. That's one question mark room for our tiny chest. This is a terrible room. I'm not a fan. Do I ever energy potion here? I think I do. We'll get that going. We don't want to hit these guys because they get more attack when we do hit them. So we want to do that swiftly when we do. So. We will hit the one in the back. Defend. Throw out Ascender's Bane. Take our one extra card next turn. We managed to rack up a decent amount of defense there. We are weakened though, which is not very fun. Do that to kill them easily. Then can we kill this guy? We can. Saves us three defense. And play ten to deal with the other two fives. Weakened is gone. And then I guess it's time to start picking on one of these guys. Four and four. Neutralize will get them weaker. Means that we're not taking any damage. And here... 6, 12, and more than what remains. Alright, that went reasonably well. Deal 13 damage to all enemies, exhaust. Not bad. Discard 3 cards, gain 2 energy. Dagger throw. I'll take die, die, die. There's six defense. There's 11. Get that going. Right, now we want to be reasonably quick about this if we can. Well, there's 13 damage. There's the rest. Liquid bronze is great for next floor. I'm going to take another Flying Knee. And we have no encounters remaining, so I will Smith here. Two Shivs from a Cloak and Dagger seems great to me. Then into the shop, another Infinite Blades. It's very cheap as well. I'll take a flex potion. That'll be great when we have a whole bunch of shivs. And we'll get rid of a basic strike. Great shopping. Right, it's not an ideal boss for us. I don't think I want any of this. 
So when this guy's in his defensive form, he'll have thorns. And that is not going to be great for us. Thirty-six damage here is also kind of terrible. Well, we can definitely do eleven now. Do I want Doppelganger for next turn, or do I wait until we're on a turn where we're actually going to be playing lots of cards? Because he's going to have Thorns next turn, and I don't want to play eight shivs while I'm taking three damage apiece, you know? Do that. Makes him weaker. So he's doing seven. We're taking three for Thorns. So we can attack down to 7 shield. We have no defense here, which is terrible. Honestly, just give me big doppelganger for next turn. My hand is full. We need to do 47 damage. I'm going to drink this. I should have drunk it before I did that one attack, but I think this is going to be good for us. That's 54 damage. We lose that five attack. No defense here either is brutal. Can't afford the thorns. Neutralize three thorns, but makes his attacks weaker. And we are absolutely wrecked. All right. A swift failure. Let's go in for another. Remove a card. Obtain 100 gold. Take 18 damage to remove two cards. Lose your starting relic, obtain a random boss relic. Let's get rid of two cards and go really thin decked to start. Got 11. Do you start with 13 cards? That's so many. Right, where are we going? We'd like to hit a shop to remove another card. But there's so many double elite routes here. All right, then. When in Rome. As ever, we'll lean into whatever they give us first. Clearly, I did not take enough defensive cards in the last game. So let's see if I can mitigate some of that this time. Oh, if I had two strikes, we have enough to kill them. I don't know what I was doing. Alright then, Noxious Fumes. Five and eight is 13. So every turn, we'll stack two poison on every enemy. The end of my turn, I think. Oh, the start of my turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, 5 and 13. And so they take damage at the start of their turn equal to their poison. And because it's doing plus 2, minus 1, plus 2, minus 1, it will slowly start to tick up. And the green bit of their health bar is how much poison damage they stand to take. So if the whole health bar is green, you know they're going to die from their next instance of poison. Deadly poison. Shivs 
Plus four damage would have been great last run, but so be it. No poison stuff here. So let's get rid of a basic strike. This is terrible enemies to not draw our poison cards on. Five poison will be five plus four is nine plus three is twelve plus two is eleven. But if we do that and that, they'll be dead a lot faster. Simple stuff. None of this fits our poison but 10 block and 10 damage is no bad thing neutralize you down to eight you're gonna run away with my money so let's try and prevent that from happening put noxious out and then stack as much defense as we can. I doubt we're going to kill him before he runs away now, unfortunately. Alright then, defend ourselves against this guy instead. He is out. Took 30 odd gold from me. It's not very pleasant. At least we are alive. Poison stab. Okay, this is 10 block, 10 damage. So we're not taking damage from this. Deadly poison will get rid of one of their artifacts. Now. What I would rather do is play Noxious Fumes and get rid of all of them at the same time. I'm going to Poison Stab here to get rid of theirs so that I can neutralize them. This becomes 7 damage instead and then we can defend once. Then this gives us sufficient defense that's like playing a defend possibly should have drawn for a defensive card there all right they will die to poison next turn we can now focus at the back all of the dazed. We have 4 HP. Poison will get them next time. Or we will. Happy Flower, every three turns gain energy. I'll take a dodge and roll for more defense. Clearly, we're going to the campfire. Right. Noxious fumes. Dash. 10 block and 10 defense. We can kill one. That's an extra 4 block effective. Neutralize is even more block. 6, 10, 20. Let's do that. Can't kill any of them. 6, 12, 18. If we do this, we can just let Noxious Fumes keep ticking up. Right. Oh, we're not strong enough to kill with one attack here. Well, this will kill you with one attack. 12 health. 3 is 9. This is seven. 
But that one's dead. This is six. You're dead from poison. That is enough defense. You're dead from poison. You're dead from stabbing. Lovely. It's all not stuff I want. Be really good to me. Strike dummy. Cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Right here, we want to get our poison stuff out to start. So I'm going to skip this turn. And play Noxious Fumes and Deadly Poison together. Then they are awake. Seventeen defense. Dash is lovely. Do I want to play a potion? No, we got fourteen defense against an attack of fifteen. We're okay. That gives me four block next turn. And the poison, you can see how quickly it ticks up to our benefit. 20 attack. Well, neutralize. 17 on 36 is 19. We can't do 19 damage. But we can do 15 block, which is just as good in this situation. Unplayable curses can now be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP. Another deadly poison. Oh, this is a risky game. A white beast statue, we will always get a potion. So now we should use our potions as best we can to survive this fight. We draw so little defense. We're going to take four damage here. But we are going to survive. We get a fruit juice, which is lovely. And two intangible at the end of your turn, lose one dexterity. All, in, all damage is lost down to one. Don't think so. Shop. Okay, drink the fruit juice. Then drink this fruit juice. And... Do I need a power potion? We're going to get potions from every fight here on out. So I don't think so. Just need to get through this guy. I think striking will get us there faster, given it's one enemy. Yep, that's gone well. Bouncing flask. Rest desperately. Okay. I am going to draw three extra cards here. I was hoping to get Noxious Fumes going. We still will. Defend for ten. Keep our defenses up. And then I really just want to stack as much poison as I can. 12 against 9. Neutralize. Poison, poison, poison. More poison. 
They've got two turns left in them. I need to do 12 damage behind that armor. I can't, but we will survive that attack. And we've got him. In Venom, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. Next turn, double your attacks deal double damage. I guess I'm taking in Venom if we're on the poison train. First time you discard a card, gain energy, remove two cards, and no longer smith. I would still like to be able to smith. We've basically upgraded nothing. Let me get rid of. As much as Strike Dummy is making these stronger, I think having the defense is more beneficial to us. All right, we can go early shop, bunch of question marks, double fireplace, triple fireplace. Yeah, that seems nice and safe. All right, we've got no thorns here. Which is a damn shame. Dash is going to keep us in defense for a minute. And honestly, we are getting more um, potions every fight, so I should use them liberally. Unfortunately, they don't resist the poison damage like they do the attack damage. So, that's you dead. And... 12 damage. I'm going to take a small hit to stack more poison. Right, they're dead. The one at the back attacking is much more brutal. Defense potion it is. Neutralize helps a lot. Extra energy that turn thanks to Happy Flower. And now they will die to the poison. Regen. Reasonably good. Is it too late for Caltrops? Because we've just had one of the fights where you would really like to have Caltrops. Yeah, I'm going to skip over that. Right, no poison stuff. Let's get rid of another basic strike. Only 15 cards in the deck. Upgrade a card. This costs one instead. This goes to four bounces. This goes to three poison. 13 attack and block. I think four bounces is just too good. Another shop. Um, duplication potion. I will take it. Right, what do we want to do here? We've got very little in the way of good defense right now, which is a shame. Having to play through a bunch of our good powers. Nineteen against twenty-two. Start the poison going. Don't know if we'll be able to kill them by the time they run. One at the back is thinking about it. Aye, 
Well, at the very least, we can probably catch the one at the front out. Indeed, we can. So, we now have exactly zero cash, so we're going to get some back now. Poison Potion. Uh, get rid of the Flex, obviously. Bane is a much better attack card for us to have. 20 damage if enemy is poisoned. Alright, let's make this cost one so I'm more likely to play it. And then we're going up this right-hand side. Fourteen poison to start is just wonderful. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Nothing I can really do about it unless I play this now, but we won't get all the benefit because they're gonna die in three turns. There's Bane. They are now dead. Crippling Cloud, apply 4 poison and 2 weak to all enemies. I'll take a rest. And a chest. Duplicate a card in your deck. I think it's Bouncing Flask Plus. This, we cannot afford anything. Sneko is a fun one. So we're going to get the confused condition and every card we draw will have a random cost. Although right now that is no problem. Uh, 31 against 52, that won't do enough, so I'm going to do this, make sure we're in good health, because the poison's going to slowly kill them anyway, or in this case, reasonably quickly kill them. Excellent. More fruit juice. Um... Don't need any of that. Elite or not? Who are the elites on this floor? The three dudes. The only one I can remember. Armour skirt round it. In Venom. Deadly poison. Drink this. Duplicate Bane at the back. Make sure they're dying quickly. Yeah, the healing is not fun. More on the left. It is what it is. So, Righty is dead. I'm sorry I just punched the microphone. Alright. This has got to be over soon, right? Possibly should have just bouncing flasked instead, but we're done. We're alive. I will take another Crippling Cloud, because they exhaust, so you only see them once when you do play them. Neutralize the one attacking twice. I'm just going to play this. Then 10, 16 damage. Right, not a turn I love, but a turn we survive.
I need to get through this guy on the left a bit faster. A lot faster. We're now vulnerable because the rat died. Fourteen damage. We're gonna take eighteen with twenty-two. That'll leave us on four. I think we have to do this to try and end this fight next turn. I don't think this fight is going to end this turn. Damn. One turn shy. All right, well... On to the defect next time for now. Thank you ever so much, ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting the like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.